Hi, VentCoreWeather.com, meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Monday, November 16th. Major changes are coming to the overall weather pattern for much of the country starting this upcoming weekend and for pretty much the remainder of November. It looks like a colder weather pattern will set in. We've been quite mild through much of November in the central and eastern U.S. Mild weather for the most part will continue this week, but again, big changes are coming for probably the last 10 days of the month and perhaps even into early December. All of that may be triggered by a heavy rain event around here in the Mid-Atlantic region late Wednesday night and Thursday as a strong cold frontal system slowly works its way to the east coast. And again, it looks like a heavy rain event is likely on Thursday. Let's start off with a few uh, longer term maps. This is actually the uh, two meter temperature anomaly forecast for the next five days, days one to five, using last night's Zero Z GFS ensemble run. And this uh, will be quite useful to show the upcoming pattern change. All of these maps from tropicaltidbits.com. Warmer than normal conditions here in the eastern half of the nation for the next five days. Again, this is uh, beginning right now for the next five days basically averaging out to warmer than normal in the eastern half of the country and colder than normal out in the west. But let's now jump ahead to the day 6 to 10 day forecast using last night's GFS Ensemble Run. And here we go, quite a difference. Colder than normal uh, temperatures pretty much envelop most of the nation except for the southwestern U.S. This runs from November 21st to right around Thanksgiving time, November 26th, which is next Thursday, again, on average, a cold period for much of the nation, including right here in the I-95 corridor for days 6 to 10. Will this hold? Uh, will this cold hold? It sure looks like it, according to last night's Zero Z the GFS Ensemble run. Let's now jump ahead even farther to days 11 to 15. And here it is for the last five days of the month, basically Thanksgiving Day to about December 1st date seen right up here. Again, this is the GFS Ensemble run, basically colder than normal throughout m most of the nation other than the uh, southwest U.S. It looks like blues are showing up here. The legend down here shows below normal for this time of the year for uh, what looks like the last 10 days of November, perhaps even longer than that into the early part of December. All of this triggered by a heavy rain event on Thursday. Let's now focus in on the Thursday event. Well, we'll look at the near term here, not only Thursday, but the next few days. This is the uh, current forecast uh, surface uh, map across the nation here. A couple things to point out. First of all, there's a cold frontal system to our north this morning, high pressure behind it uh, near the Hudson Bay region of Canada. This front actually drops southward today and will cross through the I-95 corridor in the overnight hours. Today, be a nice day, sunny, calm conditions, pretty mild for this time of the year with high temperatures well up in the 60s up and down the I-95 corridor. But this frontal system will drop perhaps up to 10 degrees off the high temperatures from this afternoon compared to tomorrow afternoon. Meanwhile, a lot of activity out here in the west. And this is the beginnings of that frontal system that pushes into the east by uh, Wednesday and Thursday time frame. Again, looks like the potential for a heavy rain event late Wednesday night and Thursday. Well, let's walk through last night's Zero Z GFS model run for the next four evenings. This is the forecast map from Zero Z uh, for this evening, Monday evening. And again, we have pretty cold high pressure anchored here in southeastern Canada by this evening, and that'll send colder air down the coast for tomorrow. Again, kind of a backdoor cold front comes through, cuts about 10 degrees off today's high to tomorrow afternoon. Then that high pushes off to the east, and we'll get milder again on Wednesday and Thursday. Let's now jump ahead 24 hours. And here's the forecast map for Tuesday evening. All of these maps from tropicaltidbits.com. That high moving towards and then off the uh, northeast coastline. A broad southwesterly flow of air uh, will develop on the, on the back side of this high by tomorrow into the Midwest. And then that translates to the east coast on Wednesday. Again, we'll be colder tomorrow compared to today by some 10 degrees thanks to the backdoor cold front. But then... 
Uh, mild air quickly returns on Wednesday. Let's now jump ahead to the Wednesday evening forecast map. And here it is late Wednesday, We're back in the milder air here in the northeastern part of the country, basically south to southwest flow. Looks like quite breezy. These isobars are rather tight. Uh, the winds could really uh, strengthen noticeably on Wednesday into Wednesday night and Thursday. Here is the uh, band of heavier rain headed our way for late Wednesday night and Thursday. There can be a few showers on Wednesday as that warmer air returns a warm front basically uh, advancing from the south to the north through the mid-Atlantic region on Wednesday. Mostly cloudy, milder, becoming windy, and uh, a few showers. Heavier rain headed our way for late Wednesday night and Thursday. Again, a heavy rain event. Notice the cold air up here in south uh, central Canada and the northern plains producing snow as represented there by the blues uh, on this particular map. Let's now jump ahead to Thursday evening. Well, here we go. That heavy rain band now reaches the East Coast again. The potential for a heavy rain event here in D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, New York City late Wednesday night and especially Thursday, uh, perhaps an inch or two of rain associated with a slow-moving, strong cold frontal system. After that heavy rain event, the overall weather pattern tends to change. It looks like colder air on the way for uh, the upcoming weekend, cold air pushing in behind this front for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and numerous cold air masses look like uh, looks it looks like will head our way over the next ten days uh, from this weekend on to the end of the month. Could even be some snow to talk about in the northeastern part of the country at the end of the month, uh, the weekend after Thanksgiving into the early part of December. But again, a heavy rain event arrives late Wednesday night and Thursday. That tends to trigger a major a pattern change from the mild weather we've been experiencing for, a, for pretty much the entire month of November to colder weather for the last 10 days of the month, perhaps even longer than that going into early December. That's it for now for EventCoreWeather.com. I'm meteorologist Paul Doyle.